Hello, world changers. It's me, Miss McCarthy, with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we practice a specific question type. Now, these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need some more practice, I will point you in the direction for tons of video lessons at the end of this episode today. So stick around. The focus for this week is drum roll. Multiple choice. All right, y'all, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, third grade, here is our problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video to solve this one on your own. And then when you're ready, press play to come back and check your work. All right, third grade, welcome back. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. It says, use the area models below to determine whether the fractions they represent are equivalent. Now, what does equivalent mean? Equal, that's right, okay. So looking at these two fractions, I can tell they are not equal. As we compare them, you can see the first fraction does not go as far as the second fraction shaded in part. So let's see what that first fraction is. For the first fraction, I see four parts shaded in out of how many altogether? 10, right? Four tenths for that first one. And the next one, we also have four parts shaded in out of how many parts in all? Five. So we have four tenths on top and four fifths on the bottom, and they are not equal. We can tell by looking at it because the amount that shaded in. So let's go ahead and read each one. Now I'm looking at this multiple choice section and this looks really wordy and really scary, but we can handle this. It's not scary. We just gotta take it one step at a time. The model shows that four tenths and four fifths are equivalent. Are they equal? No, they are not. I'm gonna put right over here my A. No, I don't think it's A, but I'm gonna continue reading it. Are equivalent. They're not equal. Because the area models have the same portion of the whole shaded. No, they do not. The top one has way less shaded in than the bottom one, right? So they are not equal. We can eliminate A. All right, let's take a look at B. Notice how I'm showing my journey down here on paper. The model shows that four tenths and four fifths are equivalent. Are they equivalent? No, because the area models have four parts shaded. Yes, they both have four parts shaded, but the top fraction are broken into small pieces. So four of those pieces those four tenths is way less than four fifths. So we can put not equal, no. C, the model shows that four tenths and four fifths are not equivalent. Ooh, I'm liking this so far. Because 10 is greater than five. Well, is 10 greater than five? Yes, but does that have to do with this? No, it's about the amount that is shaded in. And remember that four tenths is actually less than five. So this is saying that 10 is greater than five. That's not really the part that we're considering. We're considering the numerators, right? And how big the pieces are. So no. And then D, the model shows that four tenths and four fifths are not equivalent. I'm liking that because the four tenths is less than four fifths. Four tenths is less than four fifths. Whoo, that one looks really good. That one makes sense. So we can go ahead and choose D. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's how you solve this one. Go ahead and pause the video to jot down any notes that you still need to make. And when you are ready to close out this video lesson today, Press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. 
If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the links somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, more confident with something, you've got to be intentional about your practice and you've got to throw down your very best effort each and every time. You got to put in the effort, y'all. I believe in you and I will see you next time. World changers. Bye.